Greetings everyone, I'm Nashti and welcome to my channel. This is my first official vlog episode for this year and I'd like to greet you all a happy new year. So what's our topic for this vlog? From last year, I've noticed that you guys tend to watch videos related to smartphones. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So we're gonna do a rundown of the best smartphones you can buy here in the Philippines for less than 7,000 pesos. So most of these smartphones have been released in 2019 and but they are still being sold up to this day. Usually in terms of features, they have notch displays, they use IPS LCD, they have rear mounted finger print scanners, large battery capacity, fast charging, dual SIM connectivity. So these are the usual features that you can see on this price point. So let's find out which smartphones we're talking about. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get down to business because it's about to get nasty. <laughs> Number 5 Let's start the countdown at number 5. We have the Vivo Y11. It comes with a 6.35 inch IPS LCD of HD resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie and is powered by an Octa-Core Qualcomm Snapdragon 439 chipset. It has 32 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. The Vivo Y11 comes with a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It's also capable of shooting 1080p full HD videos. In front, it has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Among its other features, it's a large 5000 mAh battery with 10 watt charging support, a 3.5mm jack, an FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It retails for 5,999 pesos and was released in October 2019. What I like about the Vivo Y11 is its fingerprint scanner, its large battery capacity, and its relatively fast charging support. It's also the most affordable smartphone of the bunch. However, it's let down by its dated micro USB 2.0 port and its older Bluetooth 4.0 version. Number 4 We have the Samsung Galaxy A10s, which comes with a 6.2-inch IPS LCD of 720p HD resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie and is powered by an Octa-Core MediaTek Helio P22 processor. It has 32 gigs of expandable storage and 2 gigs of RAM. When it comes to camera, it has a 13 megapixel primary sensor coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It's also capable of recording 1080p full HD videos. Up front, an 8 megapixel selfie camera can be found. Among its other features is a 4000 mAh battery, a 3.5mm jack, an FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It retails for 6,990 pesos and was released in September of 2019. What I like about the Samsung Galaxy A10s is its dedicated micro SD card slot, its fingerprint scanner, FM radio, and large battery capacity. However, it's let down by its low RAM and dated micro USB 2.0 port. Number 3 We have the Huawei Y6s which comes with a 6.09 inch IPS LCD of 720p HD resolution. It runs Android 9 Pie and is powered by an Octa-Core MediaTek Helio P35 processor. It has 64 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. When it comes to camera, it has a single 13 megapixel unit which is capable of shooting 1080p full HD videos. It also has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Among its features, are a 3020 mAh battery, a 3.5mm jack, a fingerprint scanner, and USB OTG. Its price starts at 6,990 pesos and was released in December of 2019. 
What I like about the Huawei Y6s is its generous base storage and fingerprint scanner. However, it's let down by its relatively small battery capacity, its dated micro USB 2.0 port, and its older Bluetooth 4.2 version. Number 2 We have the Redmi 8 by Xiaomi, which has a 6.22 inch IPS LCD of 720p HD resolution protected by Gorilla Glass 5. It runs Android 9 Pie and is powered by an Octa-Core Qualcomm Snapdragon 439 chipset. It has 32 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. It has a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It's also capable of shooting 1080p full HD videos. In front, an 8-megapixel selfie camera can be found. Among its notable features is a USB-C 2.0 port, a 5000 mAh battery with 18 watts fast charge support, a 3.5mm jack, an FM radio, a fingerprint scanner, and splash resistance. It retails for 6,490 pesos and was released in October 2019. There are many things to like about the Redmi 8, like its Gorilla Glass 5 protection, its dedicated micro SD card slot, fingerprint scanner, wireless FM radio, large battery capacity, fast charging, and splash resistance. It's only let down by its older Bluetooth 4.2 version. And the number one phone is... We have the Realme 3, which comes with a 6.22-inch IPS LCD of 720p HD resolution protected by Gorilla Glass 3. It runs Android 9 Pie with an octa-core MediaTek Helio P60 processor. It has 32 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. When it comes to photography, the Realme 3 has a dual camera setup with 13 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. It's capable of shooting 1080p full HD videos. In front, a 13 megapixel selfie camera can be found. Some of its notable features include a 4230mAh battery, 10 watts fast charging, a 3.5mm jack, FM radio, and a fingerprint scanner. It retails for 6,990 pesos and was released in March of 2019. What I like about the Realme 3 is its Gorilla Glass 3 protection, dedicated micro SD card slot, fingerprint scanner, large battery capacity, and fast charging. It is let down by its dated micro USB 2.0 port and older Bluetooth 4.2 version. But there's more. Sometimes, sheer specs are not enough. And what you're looking for in a smartphone is what makes it the best smartphone for you. For example, the Vivo Y11 is the cheapest of the bunch. It also has the largest display and is tied with the Redmi 8 for having the largest battery capacity. Meanwhile, the Samsung Galaxy A10s has a dedicated micro SD card slot along with the Realme 3. And the Huawei Y6s is the lightest among the bunch and comes with the highest base storage at 64GB. And then, the Redmi 8 is a Swiss army knife of the bunch. It's the only one with a Gorilla Glass 5 display, a USB-C 2.0 port, 18 watts fast charging, wireless FM radio, and splash resistance. And finally, the Realme 3 has the most powerful chipset of the bunch. So thank you so much guys for hanging with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Don't forget to click on the notification bell and of course like my videos. Only here from the channel where Nashti is nice, I'm Nashti, till then.